Hello, everybody. We're so glad you're with us today. Hey, it is a privilege being with you. I've got Diane back with me today. We're having a great time. I have so enjoyed talking about what God is doing in your lives and what we've seen God do in our lives. And we're going to con just continue on. Matter of fact, I want to encourage you, if you have a testimony, I would love to hear it. You can message us. You could go to our website, ccoth.org. Scroll down to the message spot and message us. Let us know your testimony. We've got some to share. We've got our personal testimonies we want to share. And, uh, oh, before I get into it, I want to remind you, this coming Sunday, October 4th, we're going to have a one-day revival here at Christ Church of the Heartland. We'll have 10 o'clock and a 6 o'clock service with special guest Michael Rowan will be here with us from Dallas, Texas. He's a powerful man of God. We're going to have a great time. Come and be with us. I believe God will meet you. And you know, who knows? You might receive a miracle That's this right. weekend. That's right. This is a young man that, I mean, he's a power pack. Uh, he's he's on just fire. full of energy. Yeah. <laughs> and you will receive something from this word he will bring. That's right. Diane, I, I want to go back to a verse that I used yesterday. I won't read it all, but I love this. It just jumps out at me. Psalms 113 says, No one can be compared to God enthroned on high. He stoops down to look upon the sky and the earth. Listen to this. He promotes the poor, picking them up from the dirt, and rescues the needy from the garbage dump, and then he turns paupers into princes and seats them on their royal thrones of honor. Man, that's the God we serve. Yes, you know, he's so faithful. And just talking about bringing the paupers up and, yeah. and provision for people. Come on. How many times have you, you've been praying that, God, we need a breakthrough in our family. And out of nowhere, you get a raise on your job. Or you get a check yeah. in the mail, totally unexpected, some type of refund or rebate. You know, Diane, we had a miracle here at the church just the beginning of the year, right before the beginning of the year. You know, we were needing a new van. Mm -hmm. And we were believing that God would provide us a new van. Now, it wasn't that we couldn't go out and get a loan or make payments or whatever, but we were just believing the Lord to make a way uh, for us to have a new van here at the church. Yes, we didn't want to go into debt no, if we didn't have to. No, we just wanted to believe God, take God at his word. And you know what God did? Sitting outside of this building that we're in is a brand new van. And we're so thankful, totally paid for it. Yes. You remember that year, Dinah, it's been, I don't know how many years back, but we were in this season where every service we would get up and we would proclaim, this is the year of too much, this is the year of of overflow this is the year of double and all all of these things you remember that yes i do and, and it was so cool that everybody was so expecting i remember one family that they even when they went to buy the cereal for their kids you know that back then i guess i don't know if they still do they had a little prize in it yes. but when their kid opened the box to get the prize out he didn't get one prize he got two prizes <laughs> i remember them sharing that testimony yes. Testimony after testimony would come in. You know, we just have to believe. Oh, come you on. expect um, and pray for favor over your life. God will grant that. You know, I do that every day for us. I declare that over us, over our kids. You know, Psalms 112 says this, Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commandments. His seed, talking about his children, and I also believe the seeds I've got in the ground, are going to be mighty upon the earth. And it goes on to say this, Wealth and riches will be in their house. Yes. You know, Diane, how many times have you seen, I remember a time when I was laid off from work many years ago, and I remember coming home, and there were baskets, or not baskets, but uh, sure grocery did. sacks full of groceries sitting on our doorstep. Yes, that whole time that you were out of work, every need was met, every bill was paid. He did not have a check. I was a stay-at-home mom, but That's God crazy. met our needs. 
Listen, friend, oh my goodness, this five minutes goes so quick. I want to tell you what he did for us, what he did for this church to give us a van, what he's done for many others to give them even double toys in a cereal box. God can make happen for you. Father, I just release today your goodness and mercy to your people. And I stir their faith to rise up and to expect and believe that God, you turn paupers to princes and you said, us in our thrones of place, uh, a God of victory. I just believe you for that right now. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen.